Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Just checking the levels here, because I'm on the new computer. Yay! You are on the new computer. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am. I just installed everything like a madman today and got I it ready for the show. It wasn't 100% that the show was going to happen today. So. No, because I was like halfway through converting over to yeah. the new computer. So Very nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Converted over. Hopefully everything, fingers crossed, is set up properly. So... Yeah. Yes, uh, I wore this shirt uh, today because uh, it has some numbers on it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, I put the 5 zero and the 6507 today. That's right. Yay. Happy today, birthday. Today James. is my birthday. 50th. Today. Today. Not a fake day. And, today. And. <gasps> what do you have? I have something for you. You do? Yes, I do. What is it? Cats? Well, the cats are cats always here. Today? Oh, cats are good. I like cats. Oh, what is this? There you go. Happy birthday. Make a wish. I couldn't fit 50 candles on the cupcake. Yeah, it gets too much. <laughs> After about <laughs> it does. 10, Happy years, birthday. 10 years old. Oof, sticky. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's a cupcake for my birthday. Yeah. When you get old enough, you don't want things anymore. Yes. Because you can buy your own things and your house is already full of things. Your house is already full of things. And you don't want to clutter it up. So <laughs> things you can eat. Yeah, fire codes. Yeah, yes. I blew it out quick. So it is okay. chocolate. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, and the cats are very bite. excited. Got to gotta eat mm. that cake. Mm. Get that cake in there. Snacks Yummy. for later, too. Mm -hmm. Lots of games to play. So. Yeah. yeah, chocolate cake. I have one for me, too. Yeah, she's Just not over. left out. Yeah. Um, so today we have three Yay. games, mm -hmm. uh, Minigun Miner, an exclusive mm -hmm. work in progress update from Dr. Ludos. Thank you, Dr. Ludos. We have Panel de Pont, uh, I'm saying it like French, but it's not, it's uh, Japanese. Panel de Pont, <laughs> uh, by N-A-O-H, um, who is in the chat, I believe they said they're in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yep. N O H two. Somebody else took number one. <laughs> <laughs> it says I'm working on the panel to pawn port. I don't normally use Twitch. Please let me know if I am ever breaking Twitch etiquette. You're okay so far. Yeah. More echo than usual. Uh oh. It's the other one. Um. <clears throat> no. Uh, is is it sound weird to any? Sounds more like a studio. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Check. 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 Interesting. Um, let me check this out. Is it intolerable? Yeah, Is it intolerable? I don't want it to sound like a studio. No. It, weird that it's echoey. Yeah, there might be something else coming in. So let's see. Check, check, check. It's coming in. So let's see. Hmm. Check, check, check. It, um, yeah, it's, it's just... More distance, so let me just move the microphone closer to us. Sounds like laptop mic, someone said. Laptop mic? Mm. Oh, maybe I will check the audio camera. inputs, actually. Is no, there a no, mic no, no, on no. that, too? There's mics all over the place. Uh, there's a mic on the on cat on cam, cupcakes. actually. Mm, and somewhere. that's possibly that's what I was gonna say, what's going cam. on. Mm -hmm. Let's see, where is the uh, microphone input? Default? Let's try this. Check, 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 check. Ooh, that's probably better. Check, check, check. Better? Is that better? Better. Better, Excellent. yay! Check, 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 check. Excellent. Yeah, it was on the cat cam microphone. Oh, was it? Okay, okay. <laughs> it still sounded like... Fine. Shockingly good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, for, from it, across the but room. But you could hear the space. Yeah, fair enough. Um, and also, we're going to be playing as soon as I st stop. But out of this sync, thing. someone is saying. Oh, God. That's why. Because I had to change the settings. I was like, oh, the settings are all, all oh, wrong. Oh, no, in sync now. What? Out of sync? No, never mind. Okay, maybe it is okay. Is it fine? <laughs> It's not out of sync, I don't think. Okay, maybe Chalstoni Mao had something a little off there for a second. Is that good? I don't, I don't, I don't trust myself. 
It's okay now. Super slightly. Super slightly. Oh, seems good down oh, here. You know Sink is fine. Everyone's a little. Everyone's saying it's good. I think it's good. <laughs> uh, mm. um, if I remember, seven forty was the old setting. How's it now? Check. 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 Yeah, Tanya. Tanya uh, is a ventriloquist. Apparently, she <laughs> she's not in Hello. sync. Yeah. No. <laughs> Sounds a little, a little early old. now. No, the sound is early now. Okay. Now, quite the delay now. It was much better before. <laughs> <laughs> check, check, check. How is it now? Check, 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 check. Now it's kind of in between those two things. Sound check part of the day. It was fine before. Early. Okay. Well, we're putting it back to... Normal. That's okay. <clears throat> sound is early. Okay. Well, how about now? Check, check, check. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four. Um, Give it a second. Yeah. Chat needs to, to catch up. To Perfect. Perfect. Okay, okay we're so back to now we're back to what I had it said. <laughs> I'll, I'll check it after. What? Seems more perfect yeah. to me. Um, and the third game we're going to be playing today is Pas de Deux, which is French. Yeah. Uh, by Thomas Yench. Uh, we're nice. playing the update to that very fun game. Uh, it shouldn't depend on internet speeds at all. Yeah. At all. Uh, but th first, before we start getting into things, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers Ooh. scrolling beside Tanya. A cardboard box, Andrea, Atari, Arkham, H, Arm, Scar, Coder, Atari, 800 XL Rules. Uh, chocolate. Atari, Night 74, Atari, H, Atari, Smack, Miss, Beef, Supreme, Beer, Poco, Chell, Stony, Mount, Charles, Willen, Chitlala, Cole, Patch, Colonel, Lambert, Cubanismo, D, Dr. Moo, Cows, Gamma, Dev, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Arju, Rapper, Homebo Homebrew, Homeboy, Jedekiah, Johnny, WC, Computer, Kenzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Kvaltifer, Lambda, Express, Lone, DTZ, Mark, Yannis, Mark, Spacing, Metal, Atari, Mick, Muse, Mike, Solomon, Katow, Miss Command, MK, Smith, Mother, Three, Mr. Zona, Mr. Fix, Money, Funster, Nathan, Strum, Neo, Meaning, Nostalgic, 26, Pack, Rap, Dave, Coog, 2600, R, Anschwitz, R, Six Sweet Spedgehammer, Smitty B, Spiceware, Spindly, Estramares, Tested and Rocking, T Flock 41, The D Train, Tiki Dan, KT Foes, Token Muncher, Trek, MD, Vexor X, Vintage Gaming Memories, Vitoko, and VVD Double Down. Yay. Thank you so much for all your amazing support and all yep. the people who just subscribed before the show started. Danny VC, Al Nefer. Uh, that's it. Those two people. Thank Excellent. you so Thank much. You. Awesome, I'm going to awesome. start timing these. Uh, <laughs> and if you want to subscribe, it is free with Amazon Prime, Prime. and not free without it. So there yeah. you go. I do have a poll question uh, related to birthdays. Um, let's see. Yes, you, you would have noticed that uh, I didn't sing a certain song. Oh, no, what happened? Did it not work? No, because... Uh, because I reset things. Oh, no. I'm going to do it again. Try it again. There's going to be Let's a few hiccups because this is the first use of this new computer. So, yes. so just apologizing ahead of time because uh, there's quite a quite a lot into your settings to make oh sure my the God. stream runs properly. All the little things. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be... Is this going to work? Oh, it's... Is it there? It's kind of there. Oh, sort of. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to read it out. Um, singing happy birthday, yay or nay. Uh, number uh, one, absolute must at a birthday, even if the birthday person hates it. Uh, <laughs> number two, take it or leave it. Let's see if it works. Oh, people are, yeah, it's working. Oh, I'm actually voting. Uh, number three. <laughs> I better vote for all of them then. There you go. That song is the worst. No. <laughs> so I forbade people to sing happy birthday at my birthday because it's a crappy song. It's the worst song in the world. It's, uh, it's not even the original song. The original song is Good Morning to You. And it was sung at, at, in the mornings in elementary school. Yeah. That's yeah. how terrible it is. It's for little kids. I mean, it is for little kids. Yeah. At birthday parties, not for fifty-year-olds. No, I've heard, I don't think I've heard it's it the, I don't, forty-nine times, and that's enough for I me. I don't think it's that you hate the song. Oh, I do. Is you hate getting centered out in the middle yes. of a big group of people, and some people just don't like that. And I, I think, I think not everyone needs to have happy birthday sung to them if yes. they don't want to. I am a massive introvert. Yeah, I do not want happy birthday sung to me while I <laughs> sit there gigantic going gigantic room of people mm -hmm. yeah waiting for it to be over yep blow out the candles yeah 
Um, so when you re encounter him at PRGE, you just have to scream I, I, happy birthday no, at him from across the room. No, don't even say that. <laughs> just joking. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't do that. You get no stickers. You get no, no stickers for no you. No stickers for you. Next. <laughs> uh, it, it, it was copyrighted at one time. It so was, yeah. You Disney. Wasn't it like the Disney Corporation or someone owned no, it? No, it was a holding company. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but Terrible. even that was in dis dispute. And then it was finally resolved. And it's like, no, you can sing it. Too yeah. bad. <laughs> stop singing. Stop it. Stop looking at me. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Uh, take it or leave it. It's in the lead. Yeah, I'm going to have to reformat this. This yeah. is all kinds of crazy yeah uh it's kind of working but it's kind, kind of, of but formatting's it's kind of terrible yeah, yeah the top of it's a little funny yeah fonts and because it reset yeah anyway hmm. uh so yes i have a new computer uh mm. with uh much more powerful graphics card you can't even hear it listen no it's like a tiny fan oh it's so quiet compared to the last one the last one sounded like it was taken off by the end there. oh my god yeah, yeah it's got a 4070 graphics card in it yeah which just laughs at this stream. The yeah. other one's like, <laughs> what are you doing? He's yeah. dying. Yeah. Um, and, um, but my fan is still broken in my RAID array, which is separate from the computer. Um, but yeah, I was able to back up the RAID, so mm. that's fine. It can die if it needs to, but I don't want it to. Um, but yeah, the, the fan is bad. So I have to, I'm going to post in the Atari Age forums for people to help me out. Uh um, RC seventy says, I like to stare at the people trying to make me uncomfortable while while they're singing, so they start to feel uncomfortable, then everyone is uncomfortable. Very passive aggressive RC seventy. I I one hundred percent That's right. But I don't mind if you guys sing it in the chat right now. You can <laughs> you sing can it at sing home it. if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> uh so we've got some more announced releases. Nice. Uh, from Atari Age to be released at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. The first one is Growing Ties Deluxe Growing by Ties. Dr. Ludos. We did play it on the show. Oh, okay. Um, I don't I have any record familiar. of it, but yeah. I think it was part of a... Oh, it was part of a Lynx uh, Jam compilation. Oh, nice. That's why. Oh. And we played it as part of that because I couldn't see it's broken out into the listing. Um, yeah, you are a store owner that makes ties and people come in and you have to match the tie length to their height. <laughs> it's, it's quite a unique game. I don't think I played that one. I think I would no. remember that. It must yeah. have been someone else. Cool. Um, really nice cover art, uh, mm. a packaging art by William Thorpe, Bitjag. Um, see, you cut the tie ties. And there's the back of it. See all those different height people? They have to, you know, if you have the tie too that long, so they're not going to be happy with it. That is so So if you cut it perfectly, funny. you get the most points. If you cut it a little bit off, you get less points. And too long, you get no points. It's really, really fun. And then you have to match the color sometimes as well. Uh, the next one is Odinexus for the Lynx as well. I believe these are the first two Lynx games to be released by Atari Age. Oh, very nice. Brand and, new. Yep, very brand nice. new. Good, good um, Atari also, Age. same person doing the uh, artwork there. Bitjag, William Thorup. And actually, neck on this Friday, we're going to be doing a double header oh. of the final versions of both of these games. Excellent. Showing them off before PRGE so you can decide whether you want Very to nice. buy them. I like that. Yeah. So we have the exclusive final versions of both of those games. And Odin Exus is an amazing shooter uh, with huge bosses. It's it's mm. really, really fun. We played the demo version a while back. Um, yep. Reminds me of nose hair for the 2600. Very similar. You do have to cut growing things. And it is I kind of just the nose a... hair one, yeah. <laughs> it, that was unique. That was unique. I think the Not nose yet. was going all over the place. And there was something else chasing you, oh, and you yeah. were scissors. And yeah, yeah. It was insane. Yeah, funny. I uh, mean, very funny. Very quirky. Yeah. So really great games. We'll be playing both of them nice. on Friday. So definitely tune in yes. for that. Um, also. Harpy's Curse is being released, but we already announced that, of course. Uh, but it comes with a map, with a map <gasps> and a nice. poster. Nice. Check that. I think 
Is one on the other side and the other? Mm, looks like two separate things. Yeah. Uh, we've printed a poster for Harpy's Curse that will be included with the game. This is a 10 inch by 14 inch poster, features Bit Jag, mm. again, artwork on one side, beautiful, uh, great font as well, and a map of the first world on the back side. Okay, so it is one side and the other. The camera's just distorting. It looks like not the same size. Yeah. Uh, just received the posters today. Here's a photo. That was only Very five nice. hours ago. Very Nice. looks great i love it when stuff comes with maps and it's like <laughs> oh you don't quite get all the map no it's, it's hiding it's, some of it it's, the map's a little bit ruined Obscure. a little old yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah. really i like that that's really cute. that's very very mm -hmm. clever um so um if you are gonna pick that up there's a great poster and i know mm -hmm. people put these posters on their walls uh some uh some games come with posters mm -hmm. and some don't and also uh, Al said there are more posters as well. Oh, so nice. more reveals to come. Excellent. Uh, yeah, Esmer says, I'll have to rearrange my posters to fit this in. Such a cool poster. Mm -hmm. The fresco has worn off the wall a bit. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, yes. It looks like it's supposed to be on the wall. Um, very cool. I think that's all the announcements. Yes. Um, so we went to uh, the arcade for my birthday. On Saturday, we had a good time at the arcade. I was trying to uh, get a high score yeah. in uh, Bosconian. And how did that go? Mm, my high score, local high score at the arcade, is like one hundred and twenty thousand. Okay, and I got up two hundred thousand, but I was okay. very distracted. There's a lot of people. Lots of people that came to chat by, and I had to say and, hi. And yeah, say, get away from me! I'm playing Bosconian. <laughs> Again, the introvert, introvert in him comes out. Don't talk to me. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I'm playing games. Uh, yeah. And then I played Gyrus for the last game because it nice. destroys my wrist yes. because you have to press the button to fire like this, and you're yeah. constantly moving the joystick. Yeah. Because you get killed if you don't constantly yes. move. So yes. I always play that last, and I play it once. Yeah. Um, but it was a fun time. A lot of people came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, we are going to play the first game, Minigun Miner. Yay! Yay! Um, oh, yeah, and if you didn't watch last show... Light guns! We played all the light gun games mm -hmm. for the 2600, 7800, and 8-bit. It was quite... A lot of light it gun was a games, lot of light especially gun for games. the eight bit. Yeah. Okay, so here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get this started. Ready. And switch over to minigun. Oh, minor. treat time didn't go off. Carl G, you triggered treat time. There is no. Oh. No treat okay. time. Well, we'll have to pretend it went off. Because Carl G <laughs> did do it. Um, no, uh, they all use the exact same light gun, which is great. Yeah, sorry, uh, Carl G. We'll pretend. What is it? What does it say? Treat it's treat time. It's treat yum, time. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. The cat's heard it anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want this? You want that? Oh, uh, cutie. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know if the betting will work. It should. It should. Here you go. Let's hope. So let's try and get the betting going. Yeah. Uh, let's see that. Let me go to switch. Fingers crossed. Stream we can manager. It should work. Okay, uh, I have to buy you more treats, kitty. Yeah, they're running out. So let's start that. Oh, okay. It's up on there. Mm. And it is... Running? Good. Uh, let's see if it's running with the cat cam. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. I think we are good. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so you got two minutes. You want to flip it over and people can see oh, how the voting's yep. going? There it's, we go. It's in white. Uh, that's okay. We so can survive. That's something. Yeah. Um, I need another bite of my cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> Now's the time while everyone's putting their bets in. Mmm. Look at all pile up. Come all pile up to the ceiling. Nice. Thank you, Ricardo Thank Pim. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Yay. Ricardo Pim, 34 months. Who's going to win today? So last episode. Yeah. Atari won one and Sprite won one. Wow. Good. Evening out. Good Atari. Yep. Secretly quick. <laughs> he runs out. He does. He's, He's so naughty. Nice, naughty nice, cat. Nice, nice, nice. We got about... 
Oh, is it done? No, it's still it's still counting down. Yeah, see, it's not. there's no line there, there's but no there's line a line there. up here, so oh, it's still counting down. Okay. Yeah, you can see it on the stream chat that the line. So kept, I think it's any still. cats game. So I think it is any cats. Game. Who wants it more? Which one of you wants it more? Which one did you more hungry? Go. About thirty more seconds. Dan's going with Sprite. Mm -hmm. hmm. Who's going with what? Let's see. 12,000 channel points. Oh, 15,000 for Sprite. 6,000 for Atari. Mm. So Atari. People are leaning heavy, heavy on Sprite this time. If you win, some people are going to be very happy. Yeah. All those channel points. Yep. And another 10 seconds. Sprite's hungry for a win. You can tell. He is. He is. <laughs> he is. He's, He's meowy. Yeah. He wanted your cupcake. So he did. that's a good sign. Okay. Uh, it is done. Okay. Okay, all right. cats. Are you ready, kitties? Hopefully yeah. all your bets are in. Looks like the overlay is working. Is it? Oh, I have to get program up, though. Damn it. Take your time. It's just hungry cats. It's just hungry cats. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's it called? I I did install it. I'm pretty sure I installed it. So I was trying to make sure I installed mm. everything. Oh, I should have been looking for it. Uh oh, is it already here? Nope. <laughs> Good times. When your apps aren't where you where you had them before. <laughs> That's right. Uh -huh. Where did I leave those apps? This match is already in protest. <laughs> <laughs> protest. We did close the door. The oh, door is hot. closed. Uh, oh, it's called Telescore. Okay. No, I got it. I got it. We're good. Loading Just making it up. sure it's getting loaded. Again, it's going to be a little slow with a few things today because uh, he just got the new computer up and running. Okay. I think, I think I've got it. Let me just try and add. Um, oh, the fonts are crazy. Oh, okay. It is working. Okay. The fonts are silly, but it's working. Okay. We can manage. All right. Ready? Are we ready? And go. Oh, Atari misses. Sprite is oh, on it. Oh, Atari. Oh, he tried Ring to steal bell. it. Don't try to steal. Ring your bell. Ring it. Ring your bell. Oh, oh another one Sprite for Sprite. Again. Ring your bell. Ring your bell, Atari. Atari, ring, ring the bell. That's you know how this new. works. Harder. There Good you go. Kitty. Good, Good kitty. guy. <laughs> Sprite is stunned at that. Oh, he rings it again. Good, Sprite. Oh, oh harder. 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 Oh, harder. Oh, Sprite no. gets it. That's Sprite's. It's not <laughs> yours. Atari, come on, buddy. Come on, get, get on, on it. Get your game face on. Come on. Oh, Sprite gets again. Five to one. Come on. Hit the bell. Yes. Atari, you're having trouble today. There Good you kitty. go. Good kitty. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. He hit it across the room. Oh, he's going crazy. <laughs> Sprite oh, is Sprite definitely going to win it this Six time, to I think. Two, probably. Oh, buddy. Atari's stunned. There we go. A nice strong hit from Atari. I don't think he'll catch up, but it is possible if Sprite is a little bit uh, stunned. He's a little slow today. Oh, now he's do now he's going. Come on, Atari. Whoa, good kitty. That nice was a good, smack. nice hard smack. That's a good one. Oh, it's game point for Sprite. Oh, he's... I don't think Atari's going to make a comeback, but he could get one more treat in his mouth. No, oh, he doesn't. Goodness. It's 10 4 for Sprite. Oh, my wow. goodness. Wow. He was what hungry for a treat. Devastation. Yeah. Modern font. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I need to. I think because I didn't install the font. That's where I oh, need to I get see. It back. Still, though, it's working. That's yeah, what matters. It is working. Yeah. So let's. Oh, my. <laughs> that's. Phew, what an outcome. Wow. Atari, what happened? Buddy. Okay, so let's award the points to Sprite Betters. Boom. So, who got it? <laughs> Thank you, Sprite Dan says. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, VVG Double Down. Nice. Oh, he's been winning a lot. Oh, yeah, he can call it. 23,000 points go to the winners. VVG Double Down and six others. Wow. Very nice. Huge points. Very Congratulations. Nice. Proper shellacking. shellacking. Yeah. 
Oh, open that door. Yep. All the way. Oh, it's so hot. It is warm in here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> next yeah. time, Atari. Maybe he'll he'll get he'll get it together for the next round. That's right. Poor Atari. Keep believing in Atari. Yeah. He can do it. <laughs> he, can he has do it. done it. It's just the odds are not in his favor. He's just a little slow. Oh, you got the controller? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, nice. Minigun Miner, this is an exclusive update. Uh, this build is from October 1st, so two days ago. Um, uh, for Dr. Ludos, who made um, mm -hmm. Growing Ties. The thing we just talked about is being released, so we're mm. playing Dr. Ludos today and Friday. Um, he also made Sheep It Up, if you remember that game. Um, you bounce around and you attach your sheep to clouds and it's like Velcro on its back. It's, it's crazy. It's a crazy <laughs> game. It's <laughs> very awesome. funny. Um, and he said, I wanted to thank you for trying my work in progress. You can, you can go for it. Load it up. Mr. Lugo's Minigun Miner. Uh, on the ZPH show, it's, it's a game I created for a jam that I plan to enhance and extend to make suitable for a cartridge mm. release, hopefully. In the future with more content. I didn't have catnip not sounding off. No. Yeah, the sounds are not working for the alerts, but we can do that. We can keep an eye on it. Yeah, yeah we'll get these cats make nice sure and alert high us before if we, we don't start see it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, kitties. Catnips. Catnips. Good kitties. There you go. Oh. There's your reward for being Land good kitties. Oh, thank you for following. Uh, is it sodium sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide <laughs> n-a-o-h 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 yeah uh oh let's see all the things oh it went away um it bounces around in in our screen there though it does the which is screen. nice in the little screen i just don't want it to interfere with the game yeah no no that's fair enough um so i'll go to the cat cam for yeah a little bit flip back to a little that bit while i'm reading it's a game I created for Jam and a plan to release on cartridge in the future with more content. I didn't have much time to work on it seriously yet. That's why I haven't been able to make a post about the game on the Atari Age forums, but I'll do it whenever I'm ready to work on it again. It's really helpful for me to watch uh, you play the game. I realize it's more frustrating than fun in its current state. It's challenging. Mm -hmm. So thanks a lot for the feedback. Atari Age will demo this game in their booth during PRGE. Oh, so nice. if you go to PRG, you'll see this game a demo? running nice. on one of their systems. Uh, and I made some changes to the game trying to address the too frustrating issue. Now the game has three lives. Before you had one. Mm -hmm. I made some other adjustments for enemies and items to appear faster. Uh, this is the one that will be playable at the Atari Age booth during PRGE. So if you're at PRG, this is the version you'll Excellent. be playing. Um, he said, there's still a lot of work to do on the game. Adding new enemies, make a real title screen. I like this one. Um, but I'm eager to see your feedback on how the game plays now. Mm. It should be less frustrating, hopefully. Uh, so let's go to the game while the cats are high. Yes, they're rolling around. So I might need to adjust the volume. Smushing it all into the carpet. Do you want to start it up? Okay, uh, you press the button for the gun, and the gun digs, and it also propels you upwards. Oh. Now when you shoot to the sides, it doesn't propel you upwards, but it does dig out the sides. You hold down the button, and you can shoot to the sides as well. Oh, you move to the side. Uh, if you hold down the button, you don't move. Uh, hold down the button, you don't? Yeah, so hold down the button. Just hold it down. Hold oh. it down. Just completely hold down the button. Now press to the left and right oh, while holding it down. But the oh. only way you move up gotcha. is by letting go of the joystick. You can also shoot upwards if you need to. Then you have to dig out the coins. And you have to dig a path downward further and further. And sometimes there's enemies to go around. Gotcha. So you shoot and move with the same kind of controls. And I thought the um, the neat. concept is amazing. Digging out the the ground bit by bit, so it's using a lot of um, memory to hold mm -hmm. what's going on on the screen. 
and the um, gradation of the colors in the ground is great as well. Reminds me a lot of Dig Dug, but like a continuous Dig Dug, except you're flying. Mm -hmm. So quiet with the old computer. <laughs> it's like it is. silent. It's like... Thank goodness you don't hit the... Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, give it another try, cause you. No, it's good. It's it takes a it takes a bit of a second to kind of. Yeah, the controls are very different than a lot of games. Oh, it's at random. Yeah, completely random. Which is nice, cause it's very um replayable. I agree. Double down. Very dig dug ground colors. They transition very nicely. And I didn't make it too far last time, <laughs> so I don't know how much the colors change after. Oh. Uh, shit, Lila, the score is a lot of digits considering you get one point per coin. There are some other rewards that um, are more than one point. I think there's some, uh, some more precious stones. Um, that's a good compliment. This is on the 2600, not the 7800, but uh, it does look very, very nice. It's like trying to... Thank you for subscribing! Netspector! Netspector! That's a new name. Welcome! Nice. How many bits are required to store the destructible uh, terrain? That's a very good question. Um, It looks like they're using the full width, or at least most of the width, of the play field. So it'd be 40 across, but maybe not exactly 40. <laughs> but let's just say 40 for simplistic sake. Simply, uh, simplicity's sake. Simplicity's sake, thank you. Um, and I'm trying to get the height. It looks like four high. There's a precious stone. So four high and... However many high, let's say 160 divided by 4. So it's 40 by 40, 160 bits. Uh, divided by 8 is uh, 20 bytes. Which, you know, is not, not an enormous. Like, if you're really uh, conservative with your, with your byte count, you can fit it into the normal memory. Let me just see what, uh, oh, I can't, don't have uh, Stella installed. <laughs> um, this, so I don't know what the, but this is a, um, it's an 8K game. So I'm not sure if there's any additional RAM in this. Are there any 8K mm -hmm. bank switching schemes with additional RAM? Not sure. Yeah, it depends on how it's stored too. It could be, it could be compressed. I doubt it'd be compressed. So you'd have to do some do some uncrunching on the fly. At 8KSC, okay. Um, and how much does, well, more than enough. It's like 2K for SC? Extra 2K? Or is it more than that? I haven't memorized all the bank switching schemes. Hard, not, hard to imagine how compressible this is. It's not even convex. Convex. Uh, yeah, so it's probably not compressed. Oh, it's just on the screen. Keep holding the button. You should be. Oh, it went no. on the angle. Uh, oops. Oh, it's still there. Yay. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's actual. Get out of there. Oh. Press a button. Oh, my God. I didn't think it would. Press the button. Save yourself. There you go. Oh, my God. Ooh, that was. Dig to, the, dig to the coin. Super chip is another 128 bytes. Oh, not much, but definitely enough. I think I'm thinking of the Starpath supercharger, not the super chip, which has. 6k of RAM, if I 
remember correctly, because I think somebody said that a couple episodes ago. It's too quiet in here. <laughs> it's very weird. I'm going to have to get used to it. Oh, the lack of white noise? Lack of white noise. I'm sure it's much better for the microphone. Better, get Slowly better. Slowly getting used to it, yeah. yeah. It's it's definitely got some. Uh, if you don't rush it, I think the hardest part is when there's enemies and you have to dig and get past them and then stay past yeah, them. Yeah, this so far this game hasn't had much in the way of enemies. Mm. Tanya could hit double digits. <laughs> One more. <gasps> Shocking. Could oh, I? I don't think it shows lives on the game yet. I think it just has three. And AOH is approximately 28 by 32 destructible terrain, or 112 bytes of RAM. That sounds about right. There Ooh. might be some off-screen stuff as well, like it might be like a couple past to get it prepared. I mean, there's not much to prepare, it's just full. So, Ooh, this is going to be tough. Yeah, you definitely want to be on one side or the other. So, because in the middle, it's, uh... Oh, oh, it's so hard to time it. All right, I hit double digits! Yay! Yeah, unlimited double ammunition. Digits. That would be a, another thing to do. Nice. But it's hard, because you go through a lot of ammunition in this game. It's neat. I like it. It's got a floaty feel to it. It reminds me of, like, um, just other games with that kind of, um momentum and jumping aesthetic like yeah thomas would like this yes <laughs> it doesn't have turning no you're always straight up which is fine with me yeah <laughs> um but yeah thrust based games you can't go back up the screen once you scrolled past it no it's very so, mario, uh, uh, Super mario once Brothers once you way. go down too far if say you passed a coin you can't go back up and get the coin no. um so yeah, like you, you hit the ceiling, but if the sand or rock or whatever it is has already gone past you, then it's no danger. There's too. no danger. So it's so that's a benefit. That's a good thing. Yeah. And if you like, don't hold down the fire button. Um, then you can kind of dig away at the rock without going right up to the ceiling too. If you just, I'm not sure about how far down you have to go. Like you have to go pretty far down to scroll. Not sure how I feel about that. How did you feel? Like, oh, to scroll? Yeah, like I. You have I to be feel... almost at the bottom of the screen. I. But it's it's yeah yeah. But I don't. I know. would like to see more of what's below the screen in a way because you do have to yeah. get really low down to get it to scroll but i don't think it's bad but also if it did scroll then things would scroll off the screen really yeah fast. So it's, it's a fine balance i think it is and it's not bad how it is no. didn't know the 2600 could do these colors says not bad. 2600 has 128 colors yeah. it is really good for 1977 pretty. It has unbelievable amount of color in it. Do not underestimate the power of the 2600. What's the super chip? Hmm? Oh! Frog G. Oh, okay. I think the super chip was used in Miss Pac Man? Miss Pac Man? Mm. For the. A RAM chip with 128 bytes. Okay. I have one here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just empty? Just, just hanging Ready out. Some hang people out. just have, you know. Random chips. Drawers of chips. Yeah. Ooh, that, was close. Ooh, that was close. Not in the double digits yet. This is fun. I like this game. Yeah. It's right up my alley. It's very meditative. Damn it. <laughs> Except when you explode. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's a it's a fun it's a fun game. Yeah, it's not high speed. Like you don't have to make it high speed. Oh my God. Yeah, you do have to be careful on those edges there. Go. 
Yeah, yeah. eight times more than the C64, which, which only had 16 colors. Surprising, isn't it? 16 god-awful colors. Really? The palette was terrible. That was it for the C64? Yeah, I 16. Didn't know that. 16. And it had eight okay ones. And you know what they did? They just picked eight. And then they picked eight on the other side of the color wheel no matter what it was. Oh my goodness. So really that it has eight colors plus the inverse. The inverse colors. Or whatever it works out, you know. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I read about that one day and I was like, oh that's why the colors are so bad. They didn't <laughs> they didn't put any thought into them. They just didn't care. Like there's Which so is odd because it was used to make a lot of games. Yeah. But and people worked around it. Maybe that's not what they were thinking people would spend it yeah. You know, their computing power on. Yeah. I mean, it's got some, it's got two nice blues. I do like the blues. Yes. Cyan. Would yeah. anyone know what the color cyan is if it wasn't for a Commodore 64? <laughs> no, it would uh, languish so. in obscurity. I wouldn't have known what cyan is. And I love the name cyan. It's a great name. It's and, a very strange. And I just, it's color. so. Uh, cyan. It, it links itself so much to early computing to me, the color cyan. Yes. And we're so. Yeah. CGA is all about cyan, oh, I guess. Damn it. Yeah. Anyone with an inkjet printer would know. <laughs> yes. But what came first, the C64 or the in inkjet oh, printer? Oh, C64. C64, 100%. So that's where it came from. Yeah. I just like it. It's such a great color. And the double digits. Lost one life so far. You can float Little down. Little CGA, I bleed magenta and Ooh. cyan. Oh, oh bad yeah. Colors. Oh, yeah. But I mean, they were, <laughs> I think they were made useful because they weren't one color and they weren't another color. So you could kind of play with them a little. Yeah, be in between two colors without being the color. Because I mean, you have a limited of, limit of four colors. It was like black. What were they? Black, white, cyan, magenta, and that's it. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? More gems. A 15. Oh, another fancy gem. Yeah. This is a lot better than um, before. Oh, you played an earlier version? Yeah. Mm. Um, it was hard. I, could yeah. not, I didn't make it this far. I think I was rushing it a bit mm. uh, last time as well. the gems are destructible. After being fairly busy for a couple weeks and not getting to play Baldur's Gate 3. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think I spent most of my weekend playing Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, you're well ahead of me now. Oh, I just, I had to. Dozens of hours I, ahead. I, it's my, um... It's your obsession? No, I was going to say it's my uh, uh, mental wellness time. <laughs> That's right. Just gets my brain off other things. It's lovely. Yeah. What is this? Does this game benefit from a micro switch joystick? Um, you know, I'm not versed well with all the different types of joysticks. Mm. Um, That's rough. But this is the... Um, if you go down really the rough. far right-hand side, like oh, carve, yeah, out, carve out a space, just make sure you don't hit any of that stuff. Just make it, just carve it all the way out, because... Is this a micro-switch joystick? I don't know. It's clicky. It is clicky. What um, are you up to? What are you up to? Are you high? Yeah, Are you high? You a high cat? High on life. NAOH, NAOH2 said, I tried Baldur's Gate 3, but it was a little blurry on my TV. <laughs> blurry? Yeah. What? What? He says, <laughs> what I've tried, he says, I have to try another screen. <laughs> oh, yes. If it's blurry, that's an issue. Are you playing it on, like, a uh, console? I'm guessing. Um, do you have a CRT? <laughs> what, are you, what are you playing? No! Oh, it's super hard to get past those. Uh, you get some lives, though, which is kind of nice. Kidding. Kidding. Oh, oh, no. 26. A CRT. A CRT. <laughs> no. That's uh, interesting. This is clone of a Japanese joystick. Oh, it is a micro switch. A slightly too small LCD TV. Like, yeah. Like. Oh, I enjoy it. It's a good game. Micro switch. Oh, I love it. Satisfying clicking. Yeah, I like the clickies. Yeah. Um, do you I want like, to give it another go? Yeah, I'll okay. give it one more go. And yeah. I want more thing. cake. 
Did you eat yours? Yes. You can have some of mine. No, 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 that's yours. No, no, you can have some. Go ahead. It's, uh... I don't mind. It's your birthday. You can have you can have More the rest cake. of my, my cupcake if More you want. cake. Yay. I did. I also... For, oh, I ran it. We do have pie. Uh, I made pie. Lemon meringue pie. My Lemon meringue pie. pie. That was my birthday gift to, mm -hmm. to James. Mm -hmm. He wanted a lemon meringue pie, so I made him a vegan lemon meringue pie. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Cupcakes are good. Have we had the cupcakes from there before? I don't oh. think so. Uh, no. Just I... a cake. Yeah, the bakery. Yeah. Oh, of course, we're on the other side. Chitlala thinks you can roll the score on this game. Oh, my goodness. It would take a very long time. That is a bug. What? The, the ceiling? The, yeah, that what killed you last time. Careful. Oh, no, no, no. I think it was actually... Uh, I don't think it was that that did it. It did kill you last time. Oh, it did kill me. Oh, it is a bug. Because it's like there was no ceiling before, but because you died, it went like this, and it brought the ceiling down a bit. I mean, it could be a bug, or it could be like that's... That's just the top of the world, and mm -hmm. you just have to be careful. Iopta or Lopta. This makes me want a 6502 board I can program. Oh, there you go. You could um, program a virtual 6502 machine. Uh, there's, I believe there's a website online you can do that. Kitties, are you trying to get more catnip? Of course he is. More catnip. Is per chance a Batari basic super chip game? I don't, he didn't specify where, uh, what he used to program it. Uh, this is on uh, itch.io. So let me see if there's any information, any more information on his website for it. Um, it is 8K, I know that much. Oh, okay, this game was created uh, for the Retro Platform Jam number six in about three weeks. It uses an 8K card with a super chip RAM to display a 32 by 32 destruct destructible field programmed with the wonderful Batari Basic and its in-depth documentation by Random Terrain. There you go. So it was uh, programmed in Batari Basic uh, for the super chip RAM. Uh, thanks, switching scheme. Ben Eater has a great series about building a 6502 system from scratch. Oh, very cool. That would be super cool. To build one from scratch. Oh, Carl G gives a tip. Avoid spinning fan things. <laughs> Carl G. Wealth of full information. Of full of wisdom. Full yeah. of wisdom. And I mean, that's a good tip. Because <laughs> it's killed both of us. Yeah, they are pretty hard to avoid, actually, when you're bouncing up and down constantly. And and the speed of the gravity is... is it's, it's, it's normal, but it's slow enough at your height of your ascent when you're going up that if you don't go past them from a distance, you're going to hit them quite easily. Because to, to turn around, your thrusters are not super fast. <laughs> Chitla Law says, I love that Ben Eater series. He also uh, has one where he makes his own processor. Oh, wow. And RC70, I... I did that Ben Eater kit. I got lost in the latest serial interface videos, though, and I haven't had time to figure it out, so it's in a broken state. Oh, gosh. And Lopta is catching a spider. So, uh... Is it a big spider, Lopta? Are you in Australia? Uh -oh. Will it, like, take a chunk out of you? <laughs> we have oh. big spiders here. We have wolf spiders. They're, they're pretty big. big. They're not oh, Well, they're big. not like tarantulas, but... No. They're pretty, pretty scary looking spiders. Uh, so uh, we're going to go on to the next game. Yay! Panel de Pawn. And uh, I've, it's a port of a game. So let's take a look at where it comes from while mm. I read out some information. Uh, go to web page. I'm actually go to YouTube. 
Oh, actually, that doesn't benefit because it's kind of a vertical game, so I might as well just do web page. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna mute it so we can hear. Oh, this already looks cute. I see squirrels. Squirrels are cute. Squirrels are cute. Let me change the uh, cartridge. There. Oh, it's a jewel dropping kind of the game. Yep. Uh, Pound like Pawn by NAOH. This build is from today. Because he let me know that he was updating the game today for the because uh, he saw we were going to play it. This is a 2K game. Very small. Um, it's a port of Tetris Attack or Panel de Pawn, which is the Japanese version. Panel de Pawn. Um, for the game. Um, and uh, let's see. He said, I started on a homebrew Panel de Pawn port. It uses the four color technique similar to what is laid out here. Mm. Actually, I'll, I'll get back to that. Let's just read about this game. It's a puzzle video game. The player must use an on-screen cursor to arrange colored blocks into horizontal or vertical rows. Either. Okay. Matching together three or more blocks of the same color will mm. destroy them. Uh, any blocks above the cleared lines will fall, which can be used to ca uh, cause chain reactions if they touch other matching blocks. Nice. The player can also earn combos. I don't know about in the game we're going to play, but this one. Yeah. Uh, clearing more than three blocks in a single move. As the stage progresses, blocks will <clears throat> begin to rise steadily towards the top of the screen with new blocks generating from the bottom. Those are all the same as the game we're going to play. Should the blocks touch the top of the play field, the game will be over. Very, very normal kind of stuff with these uh, kind of games. Okay. So you get a, a visual representation of where it comes from. Nice. Um, so let's take a look at the Yay. 2600 version of this. I don't know if you can hear the noise, but Atari has found our lighter and is apparently trying to burn the house down. So he's like, I deserve to win. <laughs> I win. Uh, I'm going to destruct the house. A little arsonist. Ready. Okay. Go for it. Load up. Panel the pawn. Um. First. One. Yes. This one. This one. What? what? Uh, not the flicker one. This one. Yeah, it doesn't play very nicely with. My I don't setup. know what that is. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So it starts immediately. So you want to start matching right away. So don't let it get uh, get up to the top. Um, so, yes, as an HO2 said in uh, the chat, it's 2K, but the important thing that it uses 1K of extra RAM to store the self-modifying code. Um, so, yeah, this game uses self mod Don't let it touch the top. It's one more. Start throwing them down. Um, this game uses self-modifying code because to get it displaying on the screen as fast as possible using the play field. Um, that's how he can get four colors in a row. Oh, see, I can't. Or four colors on, on a row, but with more. Oh, oh, good combo. Oh, get no. it down. Oh, no. So you can't do vertical. That makes it harder. You can. You can do vertical how do matches. You do vertical? Just three in a row. No, no, you can't flip them vertically. You can only flip them horizontally. No, only horizontally. Yeah, okay. That does change. The approach. <laughs> um, okay, the game rewrites its own code in real time. Really? By uh, so it does self-modifying code. So it it executes code from RAM, and he says he's uh, dedicated one uh, k of RAM to this game. So pretty much, it's writing to the screen as fast as possible. It doesn't need to do lookups. It's done that before and put it into the RAM so it can just write, 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 write to the screen and not do any lookups. Very, very clever. Uh, the gamer writes his own code in real time by writing 6502 opcodes to the 1K cartridge RAM included in the CV cart. This is allows it to hammer the C-O-L-U-B-K, column um, color background register to change colors. So basically, it's like a solid chunk of um, color, and it's just changing color really fast as it's drawing it. Uh, only four colors per scan line are effectively possible with this technique, as three of the colors are stored in X, Y, and A, and the fourth color, black, is possible by using the undocumented SAX opcode 
to write A and X, which is black, to the C-O-L-U-B-K, we chose we choose color A and color X such as they have no bits in common. Thus, A and X equals zero. It's a very fast game. It is. No, it's good. <laughs> so it's very challenging. And today's update, he says, okay, I've added levels, difficulties, and basic sound effects. Very temporary. I've also trimmed down a bunch of code, and so despite adding all that in, there's still uh, 100, uh, 100 hex bytes left of free, I don't know how to say that, free space for music to be determined. So set both difficulty switches to B for normal mode, which we're in right now. Oh, the play field foreground is unused here, so it's just the background is being colored. That's, that's... And is that faster than doing playfield code? Self-modifying playfield code? Yeah, Splendid not asked the same question. Um, set both to A for hardest mode. So this isn't even the hardest mode. Uh, you level up after clearing a certain threshold of blocks. One of the difficulty switches currently lowers the threshold and it'll probably change this behavior. One of the difficulty switches makes the game faster. Okay. Attached to two slightly different versions. One is the normal version, and one uses flicker to smooth out the blocks. I imagine the flicker will only look good on certain screens. Let me know if anybody has any good or bad experiences with the flicker enabled. The flicker doesn't look great on my digital setup here that we have going on, but I imagine the flicker version uh, would look quite good on a CRT, because I can see... Um, how it would work and look on the CRT. And I think it looks really well. Really good on it. Oh, getting the hang of it now. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Drop those uh, cyans down. <laughs> yeah, I have to get used to doing that. Yeah, because it's not just flipping. It's, it's dropping. dropping, too. And you can make some matches doing that. Sometimes it accidentally matches. Which is fantastic. <laughs> yes, it's a nice, uh, nice bonus. Sleepy catnip cats. So I was preparing the show all day today. And more like the computers, actually. Mm. So a bunch of people wish me happy birthday. So if I haven't been gotten back to you, <laughs> I will. Because it's his birthday. Yeah. I wanted to get the show ready. I, wasn't, I didn't know if I was going to do the show because of the computers. And it was my birthday. And I was like, oh... But then I had a pretty good breakthrough with the computers. I got it going pretty quick. Uh, and I thought, okay, I think I can do it. Um, because I had to transfer a lot of data, do a lot of installing of programs, configuring things. Luckily, a lot of programs... Oh, boy, you're... Just incredible. panicking. I'm panicking. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of programs have exporting the uh, settings now, which is nice. They do, they do understand people upgrade their computers. So you can just go export, exports to a file, import, imports from that file, and it's like, oh, good, it's all back. Uh, NAOH says, um, using Playfield allows only two colors. Uh, and, and he says, as in pixel, four pixel width increments instead of nine pixel, like this method permits, so they're not compatible. Hmm. I could have used foreground or background, but the trick was to just use one and change the color with every instruction. 6502 executes. Now, I think he got it from um, a thread he was looking at. Oh, oh no, that's red. <laughs> I was looking to go, oh, that's a good four match. There was a thread that was playing around with this method, and then he thought, oh, that would, it, oh boy. Oh, oh no, <laughs> one see. more. Oh, do that. Ah. Ah. Oh, you could have got five. Oh, no. That's okay. I'm dead. Five ah. pinks. Oh. Mm. Yeah, any of them touch the top, it's over. Yep, dead. There you Quick. go. Oh, good. Okay. Nice. Uh, 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 oh. oh, you unscrew this thing. <laughs> Every time, it's like panic. I know, I just spin it with my with my uh, hand <laughs> yeah. until it comes completely undone. Uh, I don't even have three. Ah, mm -hmm. I can put that down there. There we go. 
go. Oh, some red. I like it when it clears itself. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, and oh, okay. Oh, never, mind. never mind. Yeah. Yeah, it took care of it. Oh, oh little, little jump there. Little jumpy jumps. Not too bad. It's the first jump I've seen. Yeah. Didn't realize they were nine pixel blocks instead of eight, so splendid that. Yeah, it does look good. It's pretty fun. Ooh, this is getting tall. Uh. Down. Need to make some matches here real quick. Green and green. Oh, other flip. Oh, oh, that oh helps. Oh, good. That does help. Oh, this is not good. Need to go for some easy ones. Good. Oh, two purples. That's nice. That's green. Oh, yeah. Green. There you go. You need to feel that that column there. Oh, let's get some of these guys down here. I still need to deal with this column. Oh, it's a crazy game. It's fast. Need some auto matches. Oh. It's easy to kind of lose sight of where the call the, the big columns. Oh, it is. You yeah. Fast. You're doing really good though. Keeping it clear. Whoa, I don't know about that. Well, I think it's gone up in level. It's, mm -hmm. it's got faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start again. Now that I practiced a bit. Sodium hydroxide says, whoa, it desynced. Didn't know it, th that could happen. Yep, oh. yep, if you do... Says, my apologies for the difficulty. No difficulty, it's still no, playing it's... just fine. Yeah, it's good. It's yep. a good difficulty. Yeah. It maybe starts a little high in difficulty. It could it could go more slow. A little bit slower, yeah. and we're on the least difficult level. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. There's a faster one. In this. Is there I don't really? think we need to go there. The two orange... Oh, oh. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Far column, pinks, pinks in the far column. Ah, there. four. Nice. Oh. Yeah, you can watch for um, line count overruns if that's the issue, which it usually is. Uh, in Stella, if you turn it on. Uh -oh. Turn on the line count. Oh, nope, go back there. There we go. Tricky move. Boom. How does the joystick feel with this? Uh, pretty good. It's great, actually. The control is really good. Um, no issues whatsoever with the control. Very... Left column, left column. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, ah, ah. Oh, lost it. <laughs> it's all constantly changing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It should keep score, I think, for number of lines added. Definitely. Something I, like that. A score would be uh, great to do. Yeah. Like how um, long or a last? level as well it could add in. Obviously, yeah. this is early days. Oh, so. yeah. It's fantastic, though. It's a but yeah, great uh, some start. kind of score, even if it's just how many lines you survive. Yeah. Simple. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh, it even has fast moves. Oh, no. Uh, it went to the top. Want to do one more? Oh. I don't have an Atari. Just been trying my laptop. Oh, okay. Nice. Well, Stella does have some built in helpers. Ah, ah so started right away. I'll say. Um, so definitely put it in developer mode and, and turn on the information for line count and look up line count um, overruns. I can't remember what it's called specifically. And that should take care of like most things that you're kind of seeing on my screen. 
Oh my goodness. Trouble. I'm having lots of trouble today. Oh no. Oh no. Get that purple over Oh my over goodness. There. I'm just messed up today. Yeah, it's going to die. That's okay. You can, it'll start over automatically. Uh, I do like that, that it turns over like that. It is. Couch compliance. O obviously, when there's a score, you don't want it to reset automatically. So you, you'd want a button press to, to reset it at that point. Yeah. But make sure you put in a delay of about one or two seconds before it reads that button press, or else it'll automatically reset, and you'll um, because the button is used in the game. Or it'll reset, and you won't see your score. The level is visible as a color of the line at the top currently. Oh, okay. So we're in the gray level right now. <laughs> level gray. I mean, that's a good uh, good placeholder for now. Hi, kitties. But it looks like there's some room, maybe, for a score at the top or bottom. Looks like you've got enough room. pretty good for making this on just a laptop and not being able to test on a, a real system because it's playing really really well on the on the real system and mine's usually a messed up system <laughs> it doesn't even have any color runs and mine usually runs color over like it merges color and the the timing is off but this one is bang on which is usually incredible or incredible if it does it does work. Oh yeah, BR Polkuk says you can set a debugger trap to halt on line care a uh, line count errors. Definitely do that. That'll help you out a lot. Because then it'll uh, stop executing the code and and show you exactly where it broke down. Uh, it's just my chip. Uh, well, actually, it's not my chip. It's the it's the RGB um, video that I've installed. The RGB mod on my system has a color delay, um, a color delay error, and unfortunately, the developer doesn't seem interested in fixing it. <laughs> um, and actually, I think they're now sold out. You can't actually get an RGB mod for the 2600 anymore, which oh. is unfortunate. So hopefully somebody eventually steps up to do it, but that might almost be a moot point with the 7800 GD being able to put output RGB right from the cartridge. The 2600 sound is such a signature. Bring back the memories. Even though I own two, I never fire them up. I'm glad you do. Yeah, I, I love real hardware. That's that's the fun thing about the show. I I make sure I get the try and get the best hardware, the best video output, because um, I like being able to run something on something that's over 45 years old, a brand new game. Yeah. On a 45 year old system. Yep. And these games are so much fun. Everything should be built like this. Oh, there's Paul. I t Ivory Tower Collection says, Tim, stop making them for the time being. They aren't currently cost effective and it requires a new design. Ah. Actually, we did use a CRT on the last episode. It was one of probably the <sighs> first time we ever used a CRT um because we played light gun games yes we had to oh this joystick's so hot oh my god <laughs> Warm it's on just it. blazingly hot uh oh my god yeah one of the few times i mean we've we've played vectrex which is acr mm -hmm. um, that doesn't really count i guess go in the pit go in the pit orange is in the pit or pink it's kind of a pinky coral yeah. color. Yeah. Coral. Oh boy. Oh no. No. Get out. Oh, I'm in big trouble. I can't even see the matches. I, I know it's terrible when when after a while you get your eyes get overwhelmed and you can't really see them anymore. Yeah. 
and the broadcaster says, and the streaming with the CRT worked fairly well. I think it looked pretty decent. It was a little bit uh, noisy. Yeah, because but, I, uh, I had limited time to set it up, and nice. I had so many systems and cables running everywhere that uh, it was like, oh my god. It was a, it was a lot. <laughs> so, but it, it looked pretty good. There were some wavy lines here and there, but uh, I was, I was happy with it. Ooh, let's do a fun. <laughs> Hi, hello, sir. Meow. These oh, cats are looking Becky again. Like I don't oh, know. Like oh treats goodness. are gonna come their way. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah. I can't oh. guarantee treats at any time. He's being fluffy and cute. <laughs> Hi. He's a flighty one, this guy. Oh yeah. He when he cuddles up to you, you know he mind. wants something. Yeah. So this this one is available so. in the Atari Age forums if you want to give it a. It's a pretty pretty. It's fun a game. Fast action. Yeah, fun I love game. games like this. Very simple, very fun. And that's why I wanted to play it on the show because it's like it's no. super awesome. RC70 says I lost all my points on Atari. No more treats for me. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Bad bets. <laughs> <laughs> Made some bad bets. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I always suggest don't put too many points on them. <laughs> yeah. Because you need the points to trigger the treat time in the yeah, first don't place. Don't spend so all the points. Don't don't put it all on one on one cat. <laughs> They're very um, they lack consistency, shall we say? It's really hard to tell. Okay. I, I mean, won't. Sprite is the safe bet. But he is, but he doesn't always win. No. No. Sometimes Atari has his has his game. Uh, game hat on he's ready he's staring at me like he's like where are the treats i'm ready for round two yeah oh, he's, God. he's nope. staring me right in like he's right here you can see him on the cat cam <laughs> he's staring me right in the eyeballs what oh, do you okay. want <laughs> you know what he wants what do you want oh i'm dead do you I'm want dead. cupcakes <laughs> i'll take cupcakes he are says. you looking for cupcakes okay there we go <laughs> Treats are on cooldown. Oh yeah, no, they do take they take an, an hour. hour. Yeah. Awesome game. So oh, much fun. Oh my goodness. Great job. Yeah. Uh, uh, NaOH. NaOH. Yeah. Yes. Sodium hydroxide. Okay, we gotta stop. No. <laughs> Actually, we can see the fast mode. Oh yes, we haven't seen the fast mode. Go to it. Go to it. Ready. Load it up. This starts on a higher level. Oh, fast mode. I'm already fast scared. Mode. Well, thank you for making it. Oh, it's so much fun. James, do you have your Atari box internally installed in your 2600? No, I have it externally. Um, and then going out to a speaker, which has oh a line God. output, which mixes in with... Oh, my God. <laughs> with the microphone and i have them set at a, a fairly decent level um i have seen some of those mods where people are mounting them it internally but i'm guessing there's a switch so that you can use the nine pin for the second joystick port or the atari box like how do you use both of them at the same time if the atari box is always connected or is like a pass through somehow? Yes, you have to wire up a pretty oh large gosh. switch set. If in most cases, you can disable the Atari box and use player two. That's what I thought. Oh, it's brutal. Oh. It's brutal, isn't it? It, it, it <laughs> starts off the same, but it just ramps up really fast. Mm. Very cool. Yeah, it's a bit brutal. So I, I would say start it off a tiny bit slower. Maybe ease it, just ease a, it into it a yeah, little bit. Yeah, just take yeah. it down a level or two. But, I it mean, up. it's also fun. It's quite challenging. It so, is. Yeah, and it's nice that it just, just starts right over, right away again. <laughs> so. Yeah, that is nice. You can just play play again if you fail. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go to the last game. Uh, but first, we're going to refresh our memory of where it came from, because it's okay. been about six months since we played it last. Um, and it, can't, it comes from a game called uh, Duet. Uh, let's just get that play. That's a bit loud. 
There we go. Um, originally Duet on Steam, Android, and iOS. It's very, very short. Let's just go back to the end. Um, and it was, uh, and uh, Thomas Yench is the developer for this. And uh, it originally was called Duet, and he changed the name to Pas de Deux. Do mm -hmm. you, what does that mean? Do you know? Dance. Uh, Pas de Deux is like a dance for two. <laughs> dance for two. Oh, that's great. great I'm, I'm sure there's a better translation, but that's, yeah. Pas de Deux. A dance for two. Um, and uh, the original game description of the thing you just saw. Yeah. Your survival is dependent on protecting two vessels. They are devices in sync, a dance and a song between two entities tethered together in symbiosis. Mm. Uh, feel edge of your seat terror, where the world around you becomes quiet and numb, and all that matters is the game. That is duet. Mm. And it's late at night for Thomas Yench, but uh, yeah. unfortunately he'll have to see it tomorrow. Pas de deux. And he uh, yes. Not PAL? No? Not no? PAL. We are NTSC. More I don't have a PAL 2600. So, um, this is an up, the PRGE demo version. Okay. That's okay. going to be on display, and it's a great game to put on display. It's a very pick up and play. Mm. Audio is out of sync with, again with the video. Us? play with it. How is it now? Are we good now? Is everybody else out of sync? Are we out of sync ever for everyone? Because sometimes if the stream the stream can go out of sync, I've heard. Yeah. Nope what? <laughs> Still bad? Still bad? Still off. 250 mil oh my goodness, that's very precise. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Beer Pocock. <laughs> And, Sound uh, is early. I can Sound is it. early. Sound is early. Early? VVG says, yeah. How oh, now? My brain cannot tell <laughs> 250 milliseconds. Me neither. Check, check, check. I'd say more like 247. I, worse for me. It's getting worse. Is that worse now? Oh my goodness. There's such a delay. Just refresh. Still early. Yeah. Okay, that's probably worse. Uh, and if it's 250 from there... It's, it's way earlier it's now. I think it was better before. Yeah. Okay. Now this is 250 from the original. This is way... Because the setup is completely different. Hmm. Um, so this computer processes things differently. So the timing's going to be off because USB ports are in different slots. Yeah. Treat time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she can do treat time. Um, so this is the PRG. That looks close. Okay, close enough that it won't annoy you. Oh, treat time. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. ding. <laughs> okay, let's do cat cam. <laughs> Reset the points. Excellent. With the funny font. And we will start the poll. Start a prediction. There you go. Everybody can bet on the cats. I'm just gonna... We're going to need to order more treats. Yeah, just chewing through them. Hey. Okay, Atari cat. Ready. Everybody's betting. Yeah, close the door. Can you close the door, kitten? Oh. oh, so Atari, are you gonna have your vengeance? Are you, who's gonna win? Are you hungry enough this Atari, time? Atari, are to you win? gonna win? Oh, no, you can't. He's trying to hit the bell. Four bells. and Atari. He's people trying to hit the bells out of my hand. People believe in you. Yeah. People believe in you this time, Atari. They know you're hungry. You know they did. You didn't get as many treats. That's yes, right. So it could be because Sprite got a lot of treats, but Sprite yeah. has a hollow leg and a hollow belly. Yeah. He'll just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. He, he's the equivalent of a teenager right now, so. <laughs> he will eat. Let's get that out does of the way. he ever whine? Oh, he's whiny. Got a minute left. Going on Sprite again for 300. All it's right. a safe one, Dan. It's very yeah, safe. It is safe. Oh, Atari's eager. Look at yeah. that. He's going up to the bell. Yeah, he's trying to knock the bell. He's trying to ring the bell in my hand. Atari's prepared. He's got his catnip. 
betting on Atari for the first time, Carl. Ooh, Carl. Who believes in Atari? So we've got yeah. oh six people on Atari, four on Sprite. People yeah. are really rooting Lapta for says, you this I time. I have a hungry teenager. <laughs> <laughs> He's going for Sprite. Okay. Or no? Oh no, Atari, Atari. Yeah. yeah. About thirty seconds left. Nice. Going for broke, says RC70. Oh, there's actually a timer there. 26 seconds. Oh, there is. Oh, good. Never saw that. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's balancing out. Still heavy on the Sprite. Yeah, five to six. Yeah. Late comers for Sprite. Rendered Ghost is cheering on Atari. Got about 10 seconds left. Let me get the bells. Okay, cats. Are you ready? Are you ready? And... Bets are closed. All oh, right. Oh, you've got to get the, the thing on. Oh, my goodness. That was Atari. Atari is off to the races. He rang Sprite's bell, but that's okay. Oh, that's that's within the rules. Oh, Sprite finds it. And he gets one on the board. Atari's technically ahead. Technically. Oh, they both rang it. One each. So it's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, They're kind good. of tied up. Atari bats it across the room. He's lost it. Has he found it? He hasn't found it. I'll give him another one. Here, Atari. Here. Unfortunately, they remember. It's like, oh, oh there's yeah. still one more. Oh, Sprite. Here. Sprite gets it. Okay, Hit ring your bell. the bell. Hit the bell. Got to ring the bell. Ring the bell. Oh, Sprite gets it again. Oh. Four, two. Oh, four, three. They both rang it. Sprite is now ahead. Oh, oh. no. Sprite's pulling ahead very quickly. Oh, he loses it. Atari's on the bell today. He's doing he's, better he's this doing round. He's doing better with the bell. But Sprite is just gobbling them up. He's hoovering these treats, but Atari is showing very strong, very strong bell ringing. Sprite's a little distracted. Oh, soft touch. No, he gets it. Seven to five. Oh, Atari misses. He misses again. Hit it. Hit the bell. Hit, hit the, the bell. bell. Get the bell. There you go. He's trailing by one, but Sprite's quite ahead. He's finished his treat. He's licking his lips. He knows he's ahead. He's taking his time. Oh. Eight seven. Oh, Sprite has lost it. He has lost it. Let's get those out of there. Let me move these. You can find your tree. Oh, Atari, another for Atari. Okay. Uh we better give oh no, he's found it. He's oh, it's eight eight. Treat. It's eight eight. Oh, it's Atari. Nine, eight. Sprite has eaten his treat. And he's come back to the bell. It's now nine nine. Oh, and it's, it's Atari! It's Atari for Woo! the win! Go Atari! Am I all sir? <laughs> Good Atari! Woo! Final score 10 9. Yeah! Good kitty. Good kitty. Oh, hoping the door. No! <laughs> oh no! There you go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! So who's the big winner? Oh, I see Arena Foot in there too. Hey, Arena Foot! Oh, hey, Arena Foot! So, RC70 is the big winner! Yay! So, how much did RC70 bet? 2,000 points out of the 4,000. So, wow. he gets about, gets about half. 18. Oh, no, 18 in total. total. So, wow. he gets about 9,000 points. Good job. Wow. RC70 coming back. Big winner. Oh, he's got enough for two tree times now. <laughs> Excellent. The cats thank you, RC70. Yes, they do. <laughs> Carl G, I'm the little winner. <laughs> I'm the little winner. Not the big winner, the little winner. Very nice. Okay. So let's load it up again. Sorry. <laughs> VVG protest, hidden treat. Pro they both yeah. batted they both, their treat they out. They both bat their treats around, unfortunately. But Sprites was accessible and Atari's hasn't even mm -hmm. figured it out. Okay, load it up, please. Oh, the Toko one, too. Nice. All right, Padida, Padida. we're starting that up again. Yep, NTSC. Yes. So what is the control again? Can you remind it's me? It's left and right to spin, so you can practice here. And it actually sets the level. So what, oh, I see. Just so what level one. You'll get the hang so of it. So what am I doing? You avoid those things. So oh, I have to spin, but I can't move. Uh, no, you are stationary, everything moves around you. Oh my Keep gosh. Spinning. <gasps> This is not easy. Once you get the hang of it, you'll you'll understand. Then the other way, then the other way, then the other way. Oh my gosh. There you go. It's fast. Yep. Oh, keep going. You have to keep <laughs> yep. spinning. Keep spinning. Not too fast, oh. not too fast. 
Oh my goodness, fast. this is really coordinated. Way more coordinated than I usually am. Oh yeah! Oh, that was close to the end. Holy smokes! Okay. 100%. Oh my goodness. Oh, I keep wanting keep wanting to go back. Yeah. My brain. Whoa. Too slow. Too slow. Oh gosh, too fast. Of it though, and then it kicks you back to back a level if you fail too many times on one level, which is kind of nice because it's only back one level, it's not a restart. I recognize the sounds, super hexagon feel to it, very, very true, very similar vibe as well. Yeah, keep going. I've always thought, oh, Super Hexagon would be great on the 2600, but there's just no way of doing it, I don't think. It would be so... You'd have to redo the way it looks. And it would probably be not Super Hexagon. It would be Super... Super Square. Because <laughs> it could do squares moving outward with the play field, not a hexagon. Maybe you could fill it in a bit on the sides. Oh, I, I just turned too fast. Maybe oh, somebody can make super square. Super square? With possible constant rotation, it would have a driving controller probably versus a paddle. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do a paddle with this. I'm terrible. I mean, <laughs> you could. It'd be like move right, left, then move right. Um, I think the joystick is well suited for it, but you, you could do a freeform driving controller. Nice. Cool. Back at 95%. the same level. It's so hard. I don't know where the percentage comes from. I don't know. Speed? Perfection? So the updates to this one. Uh, stages per group increase to six. Uh, speed and stage length increase per more per stage, but decrease at the start of a new group. Added a drum beat sound for PRG, <laughs> which adds quite a bit to it. It's nice. Oh, added an attract mode. We'll have to uh, let it run and see the attract mode. Kick back a level. Yes. One three. Oh, one three, finally. I'll get kicked back constantly. The C64 version of Super X Gun looks good. Yeah, I've seen it at um, Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. I believe they had it on the C64 running. It was really nice. Oh, you should have kept it. Just up. not fast enough. And he says, this is the last 4K version. I've switched to 8K to fit in the rotating mm -hmm. obstacles of the original. So he's going to have rotating obstacles to avoid in the next version. Oh, it, just, it just throws my brain for a loop. It does. It really does. You just have to think, stuff on the left, you go one way. Stuff on the right, you go the other way. That's the easiest way to think about it. Ooh, too oh, too fast! I feel like the spinning of it should be in time, but it's not. There's no, there's no, oh my god. Not necessarily in time. Yeah, like this one's not difficult enough, yeah. It's going to add more difficult things. Well, you have to have higher levels. For a rotary controller, it would have to be a fingertip manipulated controller to continuously move and move back quickly, but joysticks seem well suited. Yeah, you'd have to spin it with your finger because you'd have to keep spinning. Oh, you did one. Th oh, you're no, no, I've, I've gotten to one three. I just keep continually getting kicked back. Oh, oh no! You have to go further over and then back. That's the thing. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> but it is so one of those games hard. where it's just one more time. Just one more time. Yay! One four. Oh, I'm sweating. Are you? <laughs> oh, too fast. Oh, I keep what like your brain just wants to keep flipping around. It's so hard. Gray code spinner and Atari joystick port. I could probably do that. It's well, that's what um, that's what the driving controller is. And it would be and it would be well suited you could just use a driving controller for this 
but but the joystick works perfectly fine. I think the the driving controller would add extra no, too fast. Um, complexity that's not needed. Because you kind of want to spin at the rate this is spinning at. Because for the for those, it if you keep holding it, it spins perfectly in time with oh, the long fast. bars. Easy to learn, difficult to master. That's exactly what this game is. Oh, <laughs> your brain just kind of shuts down. It doesn't want to do it. Carl G says, I really love how fluid all the motion of this game is. It, it's like it was made for a 2600, the original game. Because <sighs> 2600 does vertical so well. Do you want to try? I mean, it's well, going to kind of kick you back, but yeah. Oh my goodness. It's very stressful. <laughs> Don't know why. I've, you didn't play this last time, did you? No. No. So no, I have I a bit of a... Oh my god. Do you? Do yeah, you really? Do. you have a bit of experience with it? A bit of experience with it. <laughs> it takes a bit Not of, enough, apparently. It just, it just takes getting used to. That was a bit... Uh, mm. I like can also do this. Yeah. You do have to spin on those, though. You do. Oh, no! No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> the ding is very satisfying, yes. At the end of the level? Weighted tuning wheel with a thumb dimple. That's what we need. I like that. I like that yep. control. about training your brain think very to think which way you need to, to shift. It's not, it's not impossible by any means, but it just takes some getting used to. You have to be very calm, I find. Yeah. Relax, relax into it. Oh, very good. You're kicking my butt. Do, do, do. Last my level of the first, first round. To let them Tricky. pass through in the middle. Oh no! Didn't fa turn fast enough. <gasps> da, 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 two one! Wow, doing really good. Seems like a flow game. Yes. Yeah, you have to switch your brain into thinking It's a meditative. It's a, a game of meditation. Oh, this Ooh. part just makes me, yeah, crazy. It's so hard. Oh my you gosh. have to keep spinning. Yep. Oh, and then spin back. Or, or, or split, split in the middle. There. Uh, that is hard. Do I stay on two? Or did I get kicked back? Oh, I got kicked back. To something. No! Back to one! One, two? I want to practice Ouch. two. Okay. I think this is two. It's, yeah. Oh, too fast. Too fast. I almost got it though. <laughs> Vitoko says rage reset. Mm hmm. You know it. Oh my god. How about paddle, but it integrates the paddle angle to determine the angular velocity in game, like a steering wheel? That would be good. Spin, spin, but you have to kind of keep spinning. Oh, I made it past one. <sighs> oh, it's so hard. Where does it get that percentage from? 87%. I don't know. No, it, it builds up, I think, as you play. And then, and then if you lose it all, if it goes down to zero, then you get kicked back. Oh, yeah. okay. So the better you do in a level. Oh my God, I gotta go that way. Surfing Sense says, I'm afraid to play this game. I'll end up breaking my keyboard for sure. Yeah, yeah it is ah! very simple and very hard. Timer would be nice to mind. 
Oh, to the end of the level? Oh, counting down so you know how much further to go. That would be somewhat nice. No! What? A, oh, I have to keep spinning. You got kicked back. Oh, did I? Yeah. Uh, oh, no. No. To two dash one. To do one. Okay, that's yeah. fine. I need to practice on this stuff anyway. Oh. Uh, Snack through. So you don't even get a hundred percent. Oh no! So close. <laughs> so close. Oh, Carl just decided to play it at reduced emulation speed in Stella to get the hang of it before Jeez. I could have any success. Success at normal Jeez. speed. So hard once things start moving because you have to think completely different <laughs> once Jesus. again. Cheater! Cheater! Uh. Yes! Yeah, good job. Two, three. Thomas has been making some amazing games lately. Like this with is pretty amazing. Top and Tom. Mm, yes. Like really simple but awesome games. Wow, made it through first time. Mm -hmm. um, like easy to understand but hard to master. Carl G says, I like to call it custom tutorial mode. <laughs> <laughs> Sound is ahead of video. Oh my god, okay. Let's just leave it, leave it. Change things, but sorry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, pretend we're ventriloquists. And yeah. We're doing some sort of act. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're much better at this than I am. Oh, well, you just, it's like every level is a tutorial level and it's just getting harder and harder. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh it's my stressful. God. It's stressful. It's brutal. <laughs> Everything is dropping. No, wrong way! That was good though. Yeah. Sound seems synced to me. <laughs> oh god. Multiple reports. Hmm. No! It's where I died last time! No! Sometimes it is Twitch too, being being bad. Sometimes. But this is a new install, so I I'm not surprised. There's that some there's bugginess. some issues. Yeah. God, it just keeps going. No, no, I had to go hey, middle through way. that. Zero yeah. percent. Okay, back to this. Two one. Yeah. Um, how's the stream sound to you? So let's look at the demo mode. Actually, let's see at um. Crank it up to four. Four? See how hard four is? Was I just on two? Two. Oh boy. Oh boy. Things are moving left and right now. Oof. Not, not as bad as I thought for a level four. That's kind of anticipating where, where, where they will be when they hit you, which yes. isn't that crazy. No. I wonder if you set it to four that it kicks you back to three when you fail. Or just stays on four and it remembers that, oh, you're, you started on four. So why would I kick you back to three? Oh. Okay, wait till the creepy face floating balloons show up. <laughs> Twist! <laughs> <laughs> Or like that monster that jumped out in the middle of um, that wonderful uh, uh, Link's yeah, game. Gravitic. Gravitic no, Mines. No, it wasn't Link's. It was, uh, well, uh, not Link's. Jaguar. Jaguar, sorry. Gravitic Mines, Link's, yeah. Jaguar, they're all, you know. They're all the same. You know? They're all cats. Um, <laughs> oh, no, it stays on four. Okay, that's good. Finish. 
shit. Um. Yeah. Yeah, the alien in uh, Gravitic Mines. Scared. Yes, it was. Yeah. Scared the bejesus out of me. Yeah, it was a throwback to. Yeah. Another game. Another game. What was it? The 3D game. Oh my god, I think I almost looked it up. Um. Where you're landing on a surface and you have to rescue things. Oh, have There's a good aliens. night's sleep, pseudographics. It's have 518. Have a good night, PG. <laughs> nope. Oh, uh, it's oh, very, no. very, very early. Good night. Or good morning, I'm not sure. Yeah. That's uh, dedication, staying up this some late. Very like, early morning. Some people are uh, night owls. That's I understand true. it. Oh, my God. I just want to get through full one. Okay. Oh, not like that. That, forget it. Okay. More torture, everyone. Uh, let's look at three. Probably less stuff. Oh my god, it's di different. Oh my god, it's moving up <laughs> with you. You have to know where it stops. It's just, it's just there to throw your brain off. Oh. oh! Whoa, that's trippy. That's trippy. Oh, that's wow. cool. I like that. That's amazing. Said so this pathetic. is Thomas Yench? Yeah. He's He is amazing. on something. He is on something. <laughs> He's on something. Incredible work. It looks really cool. That is trippy. something before no we've been jumping through the levels no. to show them i just skipped didn't organically get to them <laughs> no i made it to two five yeah, something like that yeah okay just uh, wanted so to show them lots of room for so one, awesomeness so four levels right one now and six mark. what is that oh i bet it's random is it yeah i, I bet this is, is one one yeah but it's not one one because i bet it's random one two is it like it's it's it is the skill level of one. Oh, it's just not the same level. So this that's is the same block. level. That's the same level. But this is definitely not. No, what it it's was. not the same. So I think it's like a remix of that level. Gotcha. And I bet it's different every time too. Yeah, this is very modern aesthetics it is it's very like feels like a game you would play in an art gallery somehow <laughs> yes very mondrian or something i don't know yeah very simple colors and shapes no, you can't do that very nice <laughs> um so let's take a look at these the attract uh, mode so it, it goes up to one form and goes back to one okay so attract mode you just leave it and after a while it'll uh, do mm -hmm. something Let's see what it does. Mm -hmm. Wonder if it uh, plays itself. Pretty amazing for 4K if it's also got a um, attract mode where it can mm -hmm. play. You can down uh, Crunch the Clown. You could download this game in the Atari Age forums. And the name has changed, so I have to look it up again. Uh, Pad de de. P A S D E D E U X. Right on the screen on the left where the cartridge is. Mm -hmm. The red blue duality gives me Nintendo Switch vibes. Oh, yeah, it does. Yes. We're waiting to see what happens when we leave it Smooth alone. Smooth flow of the graphics. 120 rotation angles. Oh, that is true. I wonder how he stores that as a formula. That for 4K, I don't know if he would store it as a table. 120 different positions. It seems like a waste compared to a calculated. Position. position yeah. I think it'd be much easier for less storage. So there's always a trade off with the 2600. It's like, well, I could calculate this, but it'll take forever. Um, that has to go. Oh, well, we're glad you're here too yes, for whatever time you. you could spend with us. Yeah, Come you. on, attract mode. What's going good on? Night. Have a good night. Yeah. Is the cat mode. smacking the, the joystick there? And I don't touch the joystick. 
So there is supposed to be an attract mode. Supposed to be. Okay. Um, yeah, it says added attract mode just for the show. It may kick in like after quite a while. Yeah. The more I stare at it, stare at it, it starts to get bigger and, and brush towards me. Yeah. It's one of those three D puzzles that you stare at. Or Thomas Yench. It's just a joke, and he just wants to see how long we'll wait with the with this, <laughs> with this on the screen. He does have a, a winky emoticon after that statement. So, is this the attract mode? We'll see. <laughs> attract mode and only paid pro, pro version. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we, we finally got it. Oh, it does oh, play. Oh, it shows you how to do it perfectly. Very nice. I wonder if it's based on the last one and the next one. Thank you for following CD-ROM. Great name. All oh, the things are falling yeah, down. Yeah, um, uh, I think the cooldown hasn't happened for... They catnip. have actually had catnip they Atari did. 800 XL rules. Yeah. So they probably don't need another round of catnip. Hi, oh sweetie. Carl G says, I would totally do a lookup table for 120 bytes, but you could probably do one quarter of those values and adjust for quadrant or similar. Okay, yeah, I could cut it in half. Um, also, the positions, you would only need a quarter of them, and you could flip them. I could do a negative and then a negative. So you don't actually need 120. You would only need 30. So 30 is not that bad of a lookup table. Atari forever. Well, 45 years so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least for 2,600 onward. Um, absolutely amazing. Knocks it out of the park once again. So Thomas simple Yench. and so much fun and so hard. What oh my goodness. A brilliant game to port. Totally screws with your mind. Yep. Um, so, congratulations, Tom Yetch. I think that's going to do... Oh, we're on AA. I don't know if that mattered. No, oh, I don't know. Is there a hard mode? I, he didn't say Ready. but um, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So let's look at what's coming up on the show. We've got some great stuff. Oh my goodness, we've got some great yes, stuff. Yes, we do. So let's see what we do have coming up. Let's go there. Um... Actually, let's change the audio back to 900. Help. Oops. Better this? now? Clap, clap, clap. Yeah. Clap, clap, clap. Better? I don't know. Surf and Sand says, what does Pata do mean anyway? Dance of two. Dance of pa is uh Well, it's dance. like um, steps, steps for two. Step. Steps for two, but it's like dance for two. Okay. Um, pa so. is step. On Friday, where you have the exclusive final version of both Oda Nexus yeah. and Growing Ties Deluxe, both Lynx games that are going to be debuting at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Mm. Um, really, really fun shooter, Oda Nexus, and a really fun puzzle game, I guess. You're cutting ties, matching them up puzzly. Uh, very looking forward to that. And there's also some bonus mini games in Growing Ties Deluxe that we're going to take a look at too. Mm -hmm. um, um, we might be playing Dragon's Havoc in 1942, not on Friday, but sometime this week, because I think the deadline is on the 7th. Um, then one more show after that. And we're at PRGE. Yay, PRGE. It's coming up in a week and a half. Yeah. Can you believe that? I, I can't because <laughs> I'm overwhelmed at work and every time I think like, oh, I've got so much to do before we go. Oh, no. Yeah, it's one of those weeks. So we'll be <sighs> doing some live broadcasting from yep. PRGE, showing some stuff off. Yes. Going through the Atari Age table, the Champ Games I'm table. So excited. Champ Games too. Visiting some other friends of the show around. And then just meeting people as meeting we wander people. about. We always have a good time there. Yeah. Come up and say hi to us. Yes. We've got stickers to give out to you. Zero page stickers. Oh, small. Let me just make it bigger. Zero page stickers. Give you a bunch of those. Maybe some little piece of art thing that you made that has zero page on it. Oh, zero, yes. Zero yeah, page coaster. On. Oh, my coasters. Yes. Want to pick up well, coasters? Okay, this, that? this one is well used, but I make little coasters with the zero page symbol on. So if yep. you see us, I might have a few to give away. Yep. If you're yeah. one of the first and few. They always have lots of glitter. So just lots warning you if you're not a glitter fan, <laughs> avoid. You're not going to enjoy them. <laughs> Uh, then uh, we're gonna we have the exclusive world premiere of Doom Slayer Edition. Whoa! Okay. From the Jaguar. Sounds fancy. 
It is. Sounds it's very a violent. really nice version of Doom. Okay. It's the port of Doom, but very nice. a better version of Doom. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't get the box. That's Ivory the, Tower. That's a whole I need sticker. a coaster. <laughs> I need a coaster. Yeah. Uh, um, then later on this month, we're going to be playing the ABBUC <laughs> 2023 contest entries. Maybe one year I'll pay for ABBUC and then I'll get them early, but not so far. <laughs> It's like 30 euros a year, mm. something like that. You ABB. get a, f- oh, okay, you get okay. a floppy disk oh. with all the contest entries and you get oh. a magazine and stuff. Oh, nice. I mean, I've got drives. I've never tried them. They may or may not work. They may or may not work. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't use those, but it's kind of cool. Um, then we have the Halloween homebrew special with the exclusive work, uh, work in progress update of Tober's Nightmare. And we're going to be playing Hobgoblin. Yeah. Um, then the four player special probably in November because it's a lot in October yeah. already then Atari Jaguar's 30th anniversary class and game and countdown playing every single classic Jaguar game wow yeah, I'm excited for that I, lo- I have not played a lot of Jaguar games or the classic ones your XCOM at has a missing W at the end uh, where <laughs> <laughs> XCOM XCOM I don't know where XCOM is I'll have to be more specific. Um, and I've just added this to the list. Atari Age Day 2023, where we'll be talking with every single developer of all the new games that are coming out of PRGE mm-hmm. and doing the unboxing for them as they get added to the Atari Age store. Mm-hmm. Remember doing that last year? Yes. It was very long. It was very long and very, very fun. Uh, 21 very, very releases fun. this year. So we'll be talking to 21 developers. Mm-hmm probably splitting it into two days maybe we could do it in one that's 10 hours though Mm, that's a lot maybe eight if we go quick we could probably bang it off i can bet yeah eight hours rather than two days yeah 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 and also it's because some of them are in europe it actually works out better yeah for a long show yeah yeah Um, uh then just tons of other stuff of course the atari homebrew awards coming up in february next year not too far off, actually. Four months ago, four months away. Oh my goodness. Then we'll do the 7800 wow. Classic Game and Countdown. There's a lot of Classic Game and Countdowns coming yeah, up. Yeah, a lot of anniversaries. No W. Yeah, CD-ROM. Uh, he couldn't get the W. Oh, yeah. I always find that funny, too. It's, it's, it's like the... zero-page ombre. That's ombre. what I, I. Whenever I see it, I think zero-page ombre. <laughs> it's not that I couldn't get the W. Yeah. It's that I've exceeded the length. Yes, exactly. Because <laughs> I was like, okay, oh, I so could funny. do zero page H, zero page home. Yeah. But none of them were as good as the missing W. So there yeah. you go. Yeah, that is my Twitter. Yeah. Attending PRG is my bu- on my bucket list. It's a- Definitely. So it's is huge. for us attending the one that's in Austin, Texas, too. I think that's that's on our bucket list. That the Yeah, other- that sounds like a good one to go to. Yeah, the I'm big curious. one. I'd love to go to that. Yeah, so lots coming up. Oh, my goodness. Lots of special shows coming up. I typed that by hand. (laughs) Can you imagine? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Zero page hobo brew. (laughs) Hobo brew. 8-bit powers. Ombre. Zero page ombre. Ombre. Every time I see it, zero page ombre. It looks like that. I think that sounds cool. I don't think Uh, any of my flashcards are able to play Tober. Oh, I think you need Encore, Harmony Encore, to play Tober's mm -hmm. Nightmare. It might be too big not sure oh yeah yeah tober's nightmare is an awesome halloween game oh my god it's so good we so played it good. last halloween too but yeah he's updated it so we're gonna oh, play it has. again awesome yeah, we get an yeah. exclusive update on that's it. excellent my original handle was my full name i didn't realize i was exactly at the length limit yeah. oh yeah. so thanks for hanging out with us on my 50th birthday it was great uh great thing to do yeah yeah so and how has my... your 50th birthday been so far uh, very good. Yeah, you got I a new com- he got a new computer. I got a new computer. It's yeah. like a present to myself. I got a new tattoo. Yes, yes. On my foot. And he got you got a lemon meringue pie for lemon me. Lemon meringue pie is very good as well. Yes. Play it. Went to the arcade on Saturday. Yes. It's all my favorite really? things. Like, is there Couldn't anything more you want out of life? Like, yeah. Not me. That's, no. That's pretty it's great. Good. Uh, October is it sixty four k? It. I mean, it must be. Let's see. Uh, oh, RC7E says, oh, the tat, did you show it off already? Not today, but in previous today. ones. Yeah. Let me just look up Tober's Nightmare first. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Tober's Nightmare. 
Uh, no, it's 32K. So it should be fine. I don't know why it wouldn't work on the Harmony. Yeah. Look at all these birthday wishes. Oh, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank so you, we'll, everyone. So uh, we'll show off the tattoo to the people who have not uh, seen it yet. Yep. And it's probably the last time I'm going to show it, because I'll just reference, go look at other videos. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but it is still pretty new and it's kind of healed now. It's getting better now. There's a little bit of I can see a little now. bit of skin coming off of it actually so it from this angle. The best time to show it. Well, no, it's yet. it's healing. It's healing. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah, if you just hold it still. Okay, let me see. There you go. See skin. So we'll start on the side. No, you hold it still. I'm trying to. You're moving. So hold it still. <laughs> yeah, there. It's shiny because he's got some like cocoa butter on it, so Look at all that grass. Grass around the heel. Yeah, it's shiny because I've got stuff on it, so it's still not the best. Yeah. Right Ooh. in the Achilles tendon. There you go. There you go. It's, it's a bunch of grass. Like I'm stepping in grass. Yes. And a big V for things. Because I like the letter V. I'll just get that back. Cats. Well, Castor, you've never had a video tour of the place. Do it next episode. We oh. have actually shown people around just this immediate it has room. has changed. A little bit. In the organization. And also with this gigantic zero page in the back So that's here. a good thing for an upcoming episode. You can probably episode. flip it over, yeah. Uh, uh, we the will big zero that. page, which is fantastic. Oh, it's I love this. It's uh, so nice. Oh, I'm so happy yeah. to have it. Yeah. Um, I won't send 50 pink, pink flamingos to the front yard. Excellent. Oh, I love that. <laughs> My parents used to do that to us kids all the time. How many springs? How many springs? 30, 29, 30. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so nice. It's actually uh, 50. Yep. <laughs> 50 springs. Yes. 50 trips around the sun. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 50 in Spanish is uh, cinquenta, cinquenta, which sounds like sin cuenta. Sin cuenta. Which means no count. No count. No oh. more birthdays. That's oh, I like that. Funny. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, no I count. still think I'm Doesn't like matter. 28 anyway. So. Yeah. Oh, thank you for following Dr. Vodka. Glad you enjoyed the show. Look at that. I love I love these icons yeah, and so how they happy. go crazy now. I added that. Anytime that somebody so puts things on the screen, you're 50. <laughs> Hell I thought yeah. you were 40. Well, thank you very much. 40 yeah. is pretty good. Yeah. So if you do a lot of, let's say, sprites, let's put a lot of sprites on the screen. Oh, move down. Yeah. And then you press enter. Oh my god, stop it. Oh. Bad. And then you press enter. What is happening? Exceeded the character the limit. Look at them all bounce around. Boom, they go, <laughs> and then they explode. It's so funny. Thank you for following. It is Tony. Thank you so much. Um. I told my friends and family if they did that to me, I would kill them. <laughs> oh, with the uh, oh, the, the, the pink, pink flamingos. flamingos. I love yeah, that. I that's think that's so excessive. cute. My parents loved doing that. Look at them. Oh, so cute. Oh yeah, yeah. It's too much fun. Yeah. It's so thank you fun. for joining us yeah. on this uh, fun episode. Uh, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Doctor Vodka, CD Rom, Danny C, Oceanix, Rod Castler. Vitoko, uh, Surf and Sand, Ivory Tower Collections, um, RC7E, Chalcedony Mao, Rendered Ghost, uh, VVG Double Down, Crunchy the Clown, uh, NAO, NAOH, thank you so much Sodium for make, hydroxide. making that game. <laughs> it's really, really fun. I um, did get a chemistry mod. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, watching it develop, oh. so everybody should check it out. Yeah. Uh, Atari 800XL rules. Yes, it does. There's one right there. Um, Pseudo graphics, Iopta or Lopta. I still don't know if that's an I or an <laughs> We always. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Dios Kilos. Yay! Thank you so Look much. at that. Goes nuts. Those are so funny. I love them. Rendered ghost. Who else? Oh, he gifted. He gifted um, oh. a sub to the Esquilos. Oh, rendered Birthday ghost. Birthday sub. Thank you, rendered ghost. That's Thank awesome. You. What are you doing, crazy cat? And arena foot. And everybody else who is lurking. Are you taking your sprite? He he grabbed it in his mouth. He's like, I don't want competition. No, no competition for me. <laughs> what a funny cat. <laughs>
Uh, I swear about my 800 XL. Yeah. Yes. And with the sub average cart, you don't even need to open it up to add RAM. It's awesome. Awesome. It's that really is really good. awesome. Yeah. Um, so we'll be back on Friday with Yay. some exclusive games. Uh, very, very fun. And I will have this more fixed <laughs> and set up better. It, it was pretty good. There are just a couple of hiccups. I think it's yeah. it's looking pretty much almost there, which is really, yeah. really good. Very, very close. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, just some timing issues and fonts I need to install. Yeah. I'll, I'll re-review this episode to make sure I get them. Look for all the little glitches. Yeah. 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 Um, so bad, we though. will see you on Friday at noon, hopefully. We'll yes. see if uh, Erilyn is uh, up to the task. Yes. Erilyn is supposed to be on on Friday. So. Yes. 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 So, uh, yes, Erilyn uh, is, is weak, I believe, because Darsh was sick this past yes. week. He wasn't well, unfortunately. Yeah. We had three people. It's crazy. <laughs> it works out that way sometimes. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you on Friday. Bye, everyone. Have a great Bye. week. Bye-bye.